And one of the counter themes to all of this is, uh, in, I describe the period as one in which the British churches, European churches, have looked to America for the answers. Uh -huh. And what we've noticed in the last it's going the other years way now. is yeah, it's totally going uh, the, other the American church is yeah. North America yeah. coming Let's to bring fresh expressions Europe over here. Yeah, and saying, well, look, you've been through all of this right. and you seem to be coming out of it right. uh, ahead of us. So what can we learn from you? Right. Which and is I, absolutely the wrong move. Well, it is and it isn't. I mean, I think it's fair enough to say, look, we can learn from each other. But what happens in that learning process all too often is copying from each other yeah and you can't do that these are completely different cultures and you simply can't uh transpose something from one culture into another yeah. and I, expect think, you I, get I think the same it goes result. deeper than that Richard. i think it goes deeper than that i think that uh, if i hear you correctly what is happening in europe and the uk in terms of the churches by and large is that they've tried everything they have indeed and they've come <laughs> to the end of a place of yes. saying we can't yes. make it work yes. and it's in that space of we can't make it work that there then emerges an openness to how do we then hear God yeah. in fundamentally different ways that is not the experience of North America whether Canada or the United States and so these visits to Europe to see what they're doing or to England to see what they're doing are still visits inside of we can make it work yeah. If we just discover the next new thing, and now it, obviously it's yeah. going to happen in England amongst Anglicans or something else, then we can make it work again. Yeah. So I would argue that to a large extent the churches in North America still function out of this deep, pragmatic, enlightenment, modernity's wager. Which analyze is, the problem. Analyze the problem and we can get the solution. Yeah. Human agency is still predominant. Now, yeah. You wrap prayer and Bible verses around that human agency, but that's really what's going yeah. on. Now, one of the things that's happened in Europe, which I think uh, is a little bit different than North America, is the arrival of uh, immigrants, migrants, mm -hmm. immigrants who come as Christians. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes pretty nominal Christians, but when they arrive in Europe, and particularly in England, which they often regard as, well, this is we're coming to a Christian country, the sense of shock and disappointment at finding it's not a Christian country after all, um, causes them to rethink their faith and mm -hmm. renew their faith mm -hmm. as part of their identity. And we uh, have the potential to learn a great deal from these communities because there's two things operating within them which is uh, profoundly important. One is they still have a deep sense that God is the agent. Yeah, they do. Uh, that actually life is centered around God and that life makes no meaning apart from God and we can't just simply uh, use God as a tool. The second thing is uh, a deep sense of commitment to community uh, and a deep right. understanding of what community is right. as compared with the radical individualism uh, that they, they see and don't understand in the West. And we probably don't realize as Christians, as churches, the extent to which we ourselves have been evangelized by that uh, culture yeah. of yeah. the autonomous individual. Uh, ours has become uh, a deeply personal mm -hmm. faith, uh, it's um, personal salvation, it's Jesus and me, it's my walk with God, it's uh, my personal prayer time, and no sense of accountability to, to the broader community, the broader constituency mm -hmm. uh, that we're part of. So we've got something to learn. Mm -hmm. Now it's not, again, it's not to say uh, the immigrant community is another fix-it solution, but it is an opportunity to say, um, what can we rediscover here? What can we uh, um, begin to indwell, right? maybe even inhabit, uh, to begin to uh, reshape our understanding yeah. of what does it mean to do mission? And I think the other thing that I see in, in certainly in England, uh, possibly more in Europe, is this sense of, Yes, we've come to the end of our ability to fix things. So let's just do a mission. Not as something that we're using to fix things again, mm -hmm. but we might as well experiment, learn, and, and just go on some dangerous adventures mm -hmm. uh, without necessarily knowing what we're doing and recognizing that we're going to make some mistakes yeah uh, but actually in the journey we're going to find something important yeah.